Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do a new problem as part of GoMath's 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. It's number 38 on the CSET Multiple Subjects Math and Science Teacher, Teacher Certification Exam in California. Let's take a look at it. You'll notice they don't give you a graph or a table or any type of function. It's just strictly a word problem. And when you have word problems like this, they're going to give you in that word problem a real life scenario you got to pull out the math from the problem and you got to visualize what's going on in the problem. So I'll read it over and then you pause the video and read it to yourself a few times and try and pull out the information and visualize the scenario that they give, okay? All right, let's look at number 38. It says here, grapefruits in a supermarket display are stacked in the shape of a pyramid. Each layer of the stack is square. The bottom layer is a square with five grapefruits on each side. The side of each successive layer is made shorter by one grapefruit. What is the total number of grapefruits that can be stacked? Okay, read it over. Read it over and try and solve it on your own. Well, I want you to do that. You're pausing me. You're going to unpause me. You know, and as you do that, you got to pull out some key information. First off, our central image is grapefruits. Now, I don't know about you, but I love grapefruits. I can't get enough of grapefruits. So this makes this a great problem. <laughs> but when I think of grapefruits, I think a big, something that looks like a big orange, except different. And I want you to have that image. You're dealing with, here's my big grapefruit. And it says that these are in the shapes of a square. So they're gonna be stacked in, a, in the shape of a square and they're stacked, you know, like a pyramid. And the bottom layer has five, so I'm thinking grapefruits. Visually, I'm seeing these big grapefruits. It's maybe something you get at Whole Foods. This first row has five. This next row has four. Then there's a third row with three, then two, then one. Okay, so this sort of, and I'm joking with, I'm kind of joking with the visualization of the grapefruits, but not really. You need to be able to, if they say grapefruits, you gotta visualize it, and then you gotta pull out the math from there. If they say something else, you gotta visualize it, and depending on what type of teacher certification exam you're gonna get, you're gonna get all sorts of various images and scenarios, and you gotta work on being able to see this stuff very quickly so you could pull out the math. Now each one, these, this forms a pyramid, so it's three-dimensional. So this, this first layer here is a square, right? It's a square with sides of uh, five by five. That means five by five means that there's 25 grapefruits there. This next layer is a square of four by four, meaning there's 16 grapefruits. 16, 25. This third layer is, you know, our three by three. It's going to have nine grapefruits. The second layer, smaller, is two by two, meaning it's going to have uh, four. And this last one is just one little grapefruit. It's going to be one by one. It's going to have one grapefruit. Now this is where you, you're pulling out the math because you have the visual and you're thinking five by five is an array and this array would be, you know, if I were to do this out, it's not an accurate picture, but it would be like five grapefruits there. So that's the sort of the leap that you have to make with your initial, you know, visualization. You got to pull out the math from that initial uh, visualization. And then it comes to just adding up the grapefruits. Well, we have to add these up. So I'm thinking uh, I could do one plus nine is ten. Right? One plus one plus nine is ten. Four plus sixteen is twenty. 10 plus 20 is 30. All right, team, the answer here is D. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.
Take care. Bye-bye.